Peace, peace. This is Nile Waves. Welcome to the Nile Waves channel. We do loop kits, mini kits, tutorials every single week. I am so glad you decided to join this video today because this is very important. This is the top three reasons why you're not getting any placements. I'm going to get right into it. Number one, your beats suck. They're trash. Nobody, nobody wants to listen to your beats. They're, they're, they're ass. They're not good. They don't sound good. That's number one. Your beats just don't sound good. Now, I know a lot of people, after I just said that, they just say, click, boom, got off the video, right? It is what it is. The truth hurts. But you've got to realize every producer has been there. I'm going to do a video on how, like, my old beats used to sound. They were bad, man. They were bad. But it's work. It's a constant progression that you should be focused on. So many producers are focused on, I need a, I need a gold plaque. I, I need the billboard hit. I need to get a song with this person. But they're not looking at their own music and saying, I need my music to get better. I get so many DMs. Yo, how do I get a placement with this person? How do I get a placement with this person? Then I go on their page. I go and listen to their beats. And they're like, bad. They're not good. They don't sound good. So it's like, a lot of producers are out of touch with how their music actually sounds. So how do you remedy that? How do you fix that? You got to join some beat battles. I mean, not join some beat battles. You got to join some beat reviews. So many producers do beat reviews. Send your beats so that somebody can listen to them. Work with your local artists around you. We're going to get into that later. How many people are actually working with the local artists around them? If you can't get placements with those guys, why are you talking about getting a placement with Future or Lil Baby or Dr You can't get a placement with the guy that lives five blocks from you. You should be focused on that first. If you can't do that, then I don't, I don't want to hear anything. All right. So number one reason why you can't get placements is because your beats are trash or your loops are trash. You know, you might be sending out loops that got so much going on that there's no space for an 808. There's no space for, for drums. You might be sending out beats where there's no space for the artist to rap on it. No space for them to sing on it. You got your 808, it's out of key. Your melody, you're putting different patterns on that don't go together. You've got to focus on getting your sound to the highest level it can get to before you start to send beats out. All right, so that's number one. That's the number one reason why you're not getting placements. Your beats just aren't good yet. Your loops just aren't good enough. Your music is just not good enough to get the placements that you want. So that's the first thing you need to focus on. Getting your music to that placement quality, placement ready sound, where you can listen to one of your beats and listen to a beat that's gotten placed on like Money Bag Yo's album, Lil Baby's album, Future's album, Drake's album, and be like, hmm, yeah, I can, I can hear my beat on one of those. Yeah, my beat goes along with this. The quality is there. If it's not, then you're not gonna get any placements because you don't you don't deserve to. You're not good enough yet. All right, so that's the number one reason why a lot of producers are not getting the placements that they want. And it may be the reason why you're not getting the placements that you want. Number two, second reason. Your networking needs work. So, in the music industry, I can attest to this. Everything is about connections. Everything is about who you know. This person knows this person. This person knows Future. This person knows Lil Baby. This person knows Drake. This person knows somebody that knows somebody that knows Beyonce. <laughs> right? You've got to make those connections so that you have ways to get to these artists that you love so much. Because I'm telling you, buying email lists all day, isn't going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. I'm not saying it can't work. I'm not saying you can't get placements that way. But I guarantee you the guys that you see, that you look up to, all the different producers that you see that are getting placements consistently and are killing it right now, these guys are in the rooms. They know people. They know the engineers. They know the artists. The artists know them. The engineers know them. Somehow they've made those connections. You've got to step your networking game up. I see producers all the time, engineers all the time posting, we got a beat battle 
this Friday. We got a beat battle next month. Boom. Pull up and watch. Talk to people in the crowd, random people. You might see somebody's shoes. Yo, those kicks fly, man. I like them. Appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that. What's your name? Oh, I'm, I'm produced by Cloud. Oh, nice to meet you, man. My name is produced by Brandon. Cool, cool, cool. What type of beats you make? Make that connection. Talk to somebody. You never know. Now this person, you might be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to go uh, to a session with Lil Uzi after this. Like, Uzi, yo, I got I got some uh, some melodies for him. You think I could? Oh, bro, send me something right now. Now you just made a connection. Or you might make a connection, right? You might say, yeah, bro, follow me on the gram. Boom, boom. Y'all might have y'all might have had a long conversation about sneakers just because y'all both sneakerheads. Or maybe y'all both love basketball. Y'all have a long conversation about if the Lakers are going to win or if the Nets are going to win. It could be anything. <laughs> now you got the connection. Next thing you know, you're like, yo, let's link up. Let's cook up. Now y'all cook up partners. Y'all cooking up all the time. Now he's got a connection where he could get into a future session. And you're like, yo, let me. He like, yo, can my bro slide produced by cloud? Now you in the session too. You see how things just all these little things come together. It's not as cut and cut and um, black and white as as people like to make it seem where it's like, oh, you just buy this email list get this email and just keep sending beats to it all day or you just sleep outside of a studio i don't even know if people still do this but I've, I've i've heard people talk about like going outside of studios and like being interns at the studio i mean that can work i guess but a lot of times it just happens you just meet somebody somewhere where producers are at you meet somebody talk to them y'all have a genuine connection now y'all work together and because y'all have an actual genuine bond, your opportunities are open up, opens up to that person because you want to see him succeed, you want to see her succeed, you want to see them succeed, and he, she, they wants to see you succeed. So now, y'all working together. This is how connections are made. But notice. Before you went and asked them, yo, can I come to that session? Yo, can I do this with you? Y'all made a genuine connection. Now there's so much to networking. There's so much you can learn. People have written whole books on it. And I, 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 I really urge all of you to go check out some books on networking, go watch some videos on how to make better connections because it's very important, especially for the business that we're in the music business. One quick tip I can give you is always make sure you make that personal, genuine connection before you start asking for something. And then after you make that genuine connection, make sure you offer something that that person needs. But do it in a slick way. Don't do not do it in a way where it's like, oh, what do you need? You need anything? I'll give you anything. Like, not like that. But you might've heard that this person, they might need some drum kits. Just in y'all conversation, he said something like, yeah, I need some drum kits, man. My drum's not hitting. You're like, bro, I got crazy drum kits. I can send them to you real quick. Now you just did something for that person. And you know, it's just human nature. A lot of us, when somebody does something for us, we just make a mental note like, yo, I got to do something for him because he just did something for me. Right? It won't happen all the time. But if you become a person that just likes to give, that just like to help, you'll start to see opportunities for you to receive will open up. That's that getting into something spiritual. We ain't gonna talk about that right now. But like I said, number two, if you're not getting placements, your networking needs work. All right. Number three, you're not capitalizing on every single opportunity that you have. Woo, that's a big one. Imagine the guy that you made friends with at this networking event was Futures Engineer, right? So you made the personal connection, you offered him something, he helped you out, you helped him out, and y'all went y'all separate ways. You went back to your home, home city, he stayed in Atlanta. Let's just say the networking event was in Atlanta, right? I didn't say that before, but we're adding more to the story, right? Make it interesting. He's still in Atlanta. He texts you, he's like, yo, I need beats for Future, Drake, and Tory Lanez. I need 10 beats for each of them. Send me them ASAP. 
you're like, you're at home playing 2K. You get the message, you're like, oh, turn off 2K. Get on your laptop. And you're looking through your October folder. You're like, dang, I only made two beats this month. <laughs> I don't got no new beats to send them. Let me look at my old, look at my old folders real quick. I don't like the way this beat sounds. This one's not really, I can't really hear Tori on it. I might send this one, but it's not mixed right. So now two days pass. You trying to cook up 30 beats in two days. <laughs> and you hit him like, oh, man, you can only make 10. You send him to him. He's like, oh, bro, we ain't even, I'm gonna save these, but session's over. Like I needed those two days ago. So now you missed out on the opportunity. You didn't capitalize on that opportunity. Why couldn't you capitalize on it? You weren't ready. You didn't have everything in, 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 in hand. You didn't have the beats. So why should you ever get another opportunity? Now you will, you probably will. But those types of opportunities go to those people that are ready. This is a statement that I like to share with people. Be prepared so that you're ready and you don't have to get ready. Be prepared so that when the call comes, you're ready so that you don't have to get ready. So imagine you had folders that said piano beats, dark beats, club bangers, filled with 20, 30, 40 beats each that were all like placement level, like quality, like, yo, I can hear X, Y, Z. I can hear artist this, artist that, little this, little that, young this. I can hear all these different artists on these beats and they're all separated neatly. It's different folders on your laptop. So that when you get that call, you're like, oh, boom. Dropbox link, boom, send it out. Now you got a fighting chance at getting that placement that you want. If you're not ready to do things like that, if you're not willing to be that precise with your stuff, you're not gonna go anywhere. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. It's not happening. Because I guarantee you, there's somebody that has folders like that. All these beats, hundreds of beats, lined up, ready to go. At any call, any time, any time they're ready. No matter what time you call them. They got beats on Dropbox. If I'm not at home, boom, I got beats on Dropbox. Let me just send this link. We in the studio right now, I need beats right now. Boom, send this link. Are you prepared? got to get prepared you got to be ready so that when that call comes you're ready and you can capitalize on it if you can't capitalize on it there's no point in having the connection there's no point in in saying oh i want to place him with this guy oh i want to place him with this guy think about it hey, yo, cut off. let's say cut you're saying my beats are nice my networking is wow, nice right you. let's just say you don't have that many connections right now and you're like, bro, I just, I want a song with Future. I want a song with Lil Baby. I want this, I want that. And I say, listen, I got an email for him right now. Send me your 10 best beats for Future right now. Boom. Could you send them to me right now? Could you, could you capitalize on that scenario? I need 10 beats for Future, 10 beats for Drake, 10 beats for Tory Lanez. Send them right now. Could you capitalize on that? I know a lot of people couldn't. I talked to a lot of producers that actually have placements that couldn't capitalize on that scenario that I gave you right now because they're not ready. In order to and think about the people that are really, really consistent at the highest level, you always see their name on these albums. These guys live in the studio. They make beats every day. They're putting together folders and packs every day. They're sending stuff out all the time. They're capitalizing on every single opportunity. You gotta realize when, when, when people hit you about opportunities, they're not just hitting you, they're hitting you and like 15, 20 other people, maybe. Maybe even more than that. So if that's the case, that means you have a one in 20 chance. You have a zero in 20 chance if you don't send anything. 
you lower your probability if you send trash. You lower your prob probability even more if you're not ready to send when the person says send. You, you make your probability higher if you're the first person to send when the opportunity comes. Because they might be in the studio right then. Boom, I sent my pack, boom, let's go. You got the first pack they pulled up, they play your beat, they're like, oh, let me rap on this. Now you got a placement that you always wanted. But you gotta be ready. If you're not ready, you won't get it. So, top three reasons why producers don't get placements. Number one, their beats suck. Number two, your networking needs work. Number three, you've gotta capitalize on every single, every single situation and you're not capitalizing. You gotta capitalize on every single opportunity and you're not capitalizing on every single opportunity you have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you gained some motivation from it. I hope you will use this and really take the things that I said and work, go to work, elevate your producer game. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.